Hello, algebra students. Mr. Lawrence here. And if you hear people calling me Mary, it's because my kids are playing hobbits and they've decided that I am Mary, Mary Adoc from the um, Hobbit, or excuse me, Lord of the Rings. Anyway, today after the lesson, you'll be able to say I can add, subtract polynomials. I can name polynomials by the number of terms and I can name polynomials by their degree. And that's actually really easy stuff. And I know some of this is reviewed from the last video. But it's good to go over it because I don't want Kyle Smith to go, oh yeah, I want him to know. I'll bet Kyle knows that this first one right here, this first term, is a monomial. And there we go. Monomial. Why is it a mono? Because it's one term. Right. It's a one term. Okay. This one has two separate terms. And therefore, we need a two-nomial, or rather a binomial, because bi means two. A binomial. Okay, and then this one has one, two, three terms. And so then we need a three monomial, a trois monomial? No, a trinomial. Trinomial. You getting this, Kyle? Taking good notes? All right, and then we have four terms over here. And this would make this a polynomial. I know that Andrew was thinking that's what happens when you forget to feed your parrot, right? Polynomial. Ha! <laughs> No, it actually means more than three terms. Okay, if you had six or seven terms, it'd still be a polynomial. All right, so that's naming by terms. Now, naming by degree is pretty easy, too. First of all, we have linear. Linear means, uh, 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 choo! It means degree one. And why do you suppose they call it linear? Because it makes a line. Wait, that's not a line. Who can tell me why that's not a line? Go ahead, Aaron. Tell me, why isn't it a line? All right, let me put an arrowhead on the other end. There we go. Now it's a line. Okay, and by the way, I don't know if you realize this, but it's also one dimensional. Okay, it's degree one. It's one dimensional because lines only have one dimension. See that? They only have length. They don't have any other dimension. Okay, now, pardon me, I do have a cold command. Quadratic uh, uh, achoo, um, is degree two. Okay, and you'll learn about these later. They make something called a parabola that goes like this, and it has arrowheads, and we'll be doing those in about a week or so. And they are actually two-dimensional because uh, 2D, if you look and see, they have a measurement of length, but they also have a measurement of width, like that. So you see there's actually two dimensions involved. Okay, and then... Oh, oh, there's that sneeze again. Choo! Degree three is cubic. Cubic. All right. Um, and a cubic will look something like this. We won't do those in here this year. You'll do those in algebra two, maybe in geometry, but definitely in algebra two. But the way I think of de degree three being cubic, I think of a cube. By the way, those of you who say you can't draw a cube, you lie. You draw a square, you draw another square offset them and connect the corners. And that is three dimensional. And that's how I remember degree three. By the way, I don't think I mentioned that. When we name them by the, by the uh, degree, we're looking at the highest degree in the expression. Okay, now quartic is fourth degree. And I can't show you what a fourth degree one looks like. Well, actually I can. It's actually gonna look a lot like the two dimensional one. It's, it's usually like this, but skinnier, okay? Uh, but when I think of that, I think of quarters. And let me see, let me draw George here. There's George. Aren't I a wonderful artist? Now you know why I teach math and not art. And that is actually four-dimensional. And if I haven't shown you this in class, I think I have, ask me uh, in class and I will show you how to draw a four-dimensional cube. Okay. Anyway, let's take a look at these here. You see the degree on this monomial? It's fourth degree. That means it's quartic. This is a quartic monomial, okay? The degree on this binomial is one, right? Like if I'm Ashley Leonard, I like to put a little one where I don't see it. So this is a linear binomial. I guess I didn't need to rewrite binomial, but that's okay. Here is second degree, goes by the highest exponent, remember? This is quadratic, a quadratic trinomial. And this is to the sixth degree, which we haven't named. Anyway, if it had been a three there, we would call it a um, cubic. Okay, 
So you might want to take notes on that, rewind that part of the video again before we go on to this. This part is review. Okay, I'm going to combine like terms. Remember that uh, I'm going to need, uh, um, I've got a negative here. It's like a negative one. And so I'm going to distribute that negative. So I'm going to change the sign and then change the signs through the entire quantity. Okay, now this is where I really like to uh, match up my, my terms, my like terms. Hey, look at that. I got a 6x to the fourth and a negative 6x to the fourth. Those are going to cancel, aren't they? So sh those are gone. Okay, go back to my highlighter. And I got x cubes here, two x cubes. I should grab the sign when I do that. And I've got two more x cubes here. Well, that's going to give me four x cubes. Okay, get back to my highlighter. And here I have three x squareds and negative three x squareds. Those are going to cancel, right? The positives and negatives cancel out. Okay, so whoop, they are gone. Okay, highlighter, highlighter, where are you? Minus 5x and a minus 10x. Well, that's going to give me a negative 15x. Okay. And then finally, a plus 6 and a plus 2 is going to get me a plus 8. And there you go. Now, by the way, my answer is a, see if you can tell me, what degree is it? And how many, um, how many terms does it have? Well, it's degree 3. And so that makes it cubic. So it's a cubic. And there are one, two, three terms. It's a cubic trinomial. There it is, a cubic trinomial. All right, don't know about that word properties. It's hanging around for some reason, not sure why. Get down to the second example here. And I've got a 10x squared and a 2x squared. I didn't distribute the positive because it wouldn't change anything. Okay, so now I have a negative 4x and a positive 6x. And then finally, I have a negative 3 and an 8. All right, if you hear some clanking in the background, Sam just dropped some pots and pans. They're cooking fish and tomatoes and all that good kind of stuff. But I combined my yellow ones to get 12x squared. My green ones end up being a positive 2x. And my blue ones end up being a positive 5. Okay. But well, let's see if we can name it now. Looks like the degree is 2, which makes it quadratic. And there are three terms, so it's a trinomial. Trinomial. There's three monomials that make it up, 1, 2, and 3. Technically, this 5 is only a constant, but what's included, it's, it's counted as a term. All right. Now, this one here, I do have a negative 1 again. So I'm going to need to distribute my negative. So it's like multiplying by negative 1 through the entire problem. And now I can go ahead and match them up. 8x cubed minus 6x cubed. All right. A 2x and a 4x. And then a negative 5 and a negative 5. So combining the yellow ones will get me... Uh, 2x cubed, combining the green ones will get me a 6x, and the blue ones gets me a negative 10. Okay, looks like I have degree 3, so this is cubic, and there are three terms, so it's a trinomial. And that's your lesson for today. Please feel free to rewatch this, take notes on it. These are such simple things. You shouldn't be getting this wrong. I mean, some of you are choosing to not do your best right now. And, and you know what? The material is difficult. If you don't do your best, of course you're going to get a low grade. 
you have to stay up on it. You're in algebra, high school class, high school credit. You don't want to retake this next year. Just do your best. It'll be so much easier in the long run. All right, Mr. Lawrence signing off. Have a good night, everybody.